Hey, yeah, let's go. Let's go over all the drops that are added to AQ Worlds this weekend and all the items and stuff. So let's go. Sadly, if you're a botter, there was no botter focused content added this week. So sorry. And uh, maybe you're still trying to get the last one with your bot. Uh, so yeah, good luck with the bat. Anyway, uh, so four new midnight plush things were added to the uh, brutal corn here in the Pastelia map. It's the third week in a row they've added items to this. It, maybe they say more. Maybe they'll do it for a month straight. We'll see next week. There'll be green ones or something. Who knows? They're four there. They're not rare. They're not AC tags. So moving on. Some really nice drops are actually added to the beach party map from the dragon here. The steaming dragon all the way to the right, way to the right. Uh, so 10 individual items. They will drop four different armors and six different helmets. Uh, well, when I say different yeah, uh, the, all the armors are basically the same, just that uh, there's two different versions. So you got uh, the female, male, and then swapped. For, so the inverse would be the swapped of them. And you got tattoo and no tattoo variants of those. So the inked ones with the tattoo ones, of course. And then you got the normal ones as well. So, yeah, these are rare items, AC tags. So make sure you pick them up before they're gone forever. And, yeah, they look pretty nice. I think the helmets are really good for these as well. So you got... A cap, you got locks under the cap. I'm wearing the guy one right now for some reason uh, on my armor. You have the, yeah, so I like the hat for the guys too. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, good, good. And then you got more of a variant of it as well for your face. So IMO, some of the better drops we've had for this summer event so far. So you can pick these up off the dragon. Make sure you grab them. They are rare. I'll mention that again. All right. If you finish this week's quest line, a new merch shop will open up like a lot of weeks. Uh, this one includes a couple items in it, including two different armors there with different color variants, some orbs, not really animate or anything, a couple helmets, and some house items. So there you go for that. And that's all you'll get from the merch. All right, now we're heading over to Lunar Cove. Right here, the Lunar Villager will drop four different helmets, these four different hairs. We'll drop from the villagers. So you got morphs and non-morph variants of them there. So it looks like on the character. So you do have a bit of a CC in there. Very nice looking. So grab those. Awesome rarity. The next set of drops are from Greyfang in the same map, it's still in Lunar Cove. You have to do quests to get this area. Uh you'll once you you'll do the quest lines up to the point where the quest will tell you to go here. So that's when you'll know when you, the area is unlocked. But yeah, so you gotta do quests here if you haven't done them. And the quest will give you items that require you need the item to get to the place. So even if you've done the quest line before, you got to repeat it again. It's really annoying, and I don't know why they put the items here. But anyway, anyway, there's AC tag them those items. The drops from Grave Fang include these four items. So you got the Gothic loungewear, pretty nice male variant there. You have the swimwear as well. Then the bob and locks. Last one is gonna drop here. So there's the, just the four items. The other ones from the shop, I think. Yeah, I think one is in the treasure chest shop right now. No, Tank a chest shop. The quibble, the quibble, the quibble. That's what it is called. So yeah, there you go. These are CC as well. The hairs. So yeah, some nice little drops there. They're awesome rarity. I don't think they're rare, but it says unknown here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Back on the steaming dragon, there were four other helmets included with the other ones. These are added at a different time and they're not included with the rare drops. So there's 10 rare drops from Steaming Dragon. It's 14 total. So, but these were already dropped before. So I didn't get them uh, because it's dropped with the event. They aren't, aren't rare. But yeah, there's four normal hairstyles that are awesome rarity from the Steaming Dragon from the previous part of the video with the rest of the rare set that matches with these. So yeah, keep that in mind. Next up, we're heading over to the event hub map. This one changed for summer. And there's a shark in the water here. The shark drops five different items. Let's go through those. First up is this swimwear based on the NPC design, a very cool looking NPC uh, with the hat as well. And the shades with the hat. So I've been wearing this for most of the video. These all drop from the shark. And some very cool axolotl plushies also drop from this guy as well from the shark. So you can grab those as well. Very adorable. So. Yeah, all five of those items dropped from the sharks to so pick those up. They're not rare or anything, but yeah, grab them. They look good. Okay, and last up, we're back on Lunar Cove. Luna Cove, not Lunar. Uh, and this place drops some new drops today, including a single rare item and then four seasonals. 
So I don't have all four of the seasonals, but there's just single wield versions of the two dual wields. I did get the drop. So yeah, so you got single and duels for the weapons here. Uh, the weapons are plushies, very effective. So you got dolphins and turtles there for those. And then of course you can get single ones as well. And then for a pet, you have this really weird twig pet. He's got a dolphin on his head, but it looks like he's he's got like a piece of tuna in his hand or whatever kind of fish set. Kind of weird, kind of kind of weird. A little unhinged there of uh, the friend, dolphin friend twig. He's very, maybe he's feeding the dolphin the the fish. Interesting. Anyway, so that's a rare pet and some seasonal weapons from these guys in this room here. These guys. So grab those while you can, at least for the rare pet. All right, that's all for this video. Click like, uh, subscribe, do all that stuff. Comment down below. You think these are actually good drops? I think this week was pretty good, actually. Way better than the chess video from yesterday. Uh, check that out if you haven't seen it. Kind of disappointing, to be honest. But I get my thoughts on the 10k chess update. We actually got an update from Alina on that for more items and stuff. So check the sign notes if you care about that. It'll be in the news video on Thursday otherwise. And uh, yes, they she listed off a couple more items that are going to be in there doesn't seem like a significant amount but uh and it's not getting updated in august it'll be updated at the end of july now instead so one more chest update apparently anyway that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one peace oh yeah and check out my second youtube channel i've been streaming other games on there like that new first defiant or first descendant game i keep calling it defiant i don't know why uh first Descendant. i've been streaming that a lot on there so check out the second youtube channel link down below uh, in the link tree thing with all my other links to my Twitch and stuff like that. So, yeah. Bye-bye.